Jason here for Pirate Wizard Dragon. Wanted to do a quick update on just things in general. Um, just a little quick note on my separation from the channel Bod Mod 101. I uh, I have been frustrated with that channel for a little while and just decided to finally not be part of it anymore because of the main reason, the final thing that kind of made me want to pull away is they want to do more advertising on that channel um, on the personal videos. So they want to have ads that run before the videos and then they want to do ads before on their videos before they get into the topic. And it's just not something I wanted to do or be part of or have my um, just my person associated with that type of thing. And I don't think that I just don't think everybody on that channel took it as seriously as I did. As much as they say they did, it just didn't seem like videos were consistently being uploaded, nor, I don't know, I don't want to get into it too much, other than to say that I would hopefully one day will have time to create a body, modifi mo body modification channel that is about body modifications, the history of, um, kind of like what I'm doing with my channel sometimes. I mean, I admit that even my channel isn't always focused on body modification. I focus a lot on other things, which it's my channel, so I can do that if I want. But um, maybe down the road I will create a collabor collaboration channel where people um, weigh in, maybe not on a weekly basis, but a semi-weekly basis. Um, it'd be nice to get a group of people that could actually try to educate uh, the world on what body modification is about in the history and just, I don't know, different things on that topic. I, I kind of see I, I see what they're trying to do on the channel, and I agree with it, and I, I wish them the best of luck, and I, I love every one of the people that's on the channel, but I just don't want to be part of it anymore. I don't have the time for it, for one thing. So, speaking of which, I made time today to do this video. Um, I did upload, I did kind of pull all my videos from BodMod 101, and I uploaded them onto my channel. So, if you look below on my uploads, the last, like, 17 or 18 videos are all ones that I took away from Bod Mod 101 because I didn't want to lose them. I'm going to go in and edit them down the road right now. I just don't have time to do that. So I just uploaded them with their generic name and no description or anything like that. Over the course of the next few days, I will go in and put little descriptions and stuff like that. So if you want to watch that stuff, go ahead. I'm sure a lot of you watched it anyways that were my subscribers because I got a lot of sub subscribers from being part of Bod Mod 101. But I'm hoping to grow my channel a little more on my own and not just you know, be part of a part of another channel that, you know, grows just because it's growing for the sake of growing or I don't know. I just think, I don't know. I, I've been watching YouTube now and seeing how I think once channels get to so many subscribers, they just grow anyways. I don't, I don't think they, I don't know. It's just weird. YouTube's a weird place to try to figure out what the heck's going on. But, um, in my personal life, things are going quite well. I am on my, going into my fourth month of, uh, going to the Denver Body Art School, and things are going well. Um, I've been tattooing quite regularly. You can look up my tattoos. I put them all on my Facebook page, which is uh, facebook.com slash Z-A-R-C-H-R-O-N, uh, Zarkron. And I'll put the link below on this video to my Facebook page so you can see the progress I've made. Um, I'm doing a tattoo tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. Trying to do two to three a week just to keep in practice and to get my speed up a little bit and just to get more comfortable doing the whole, just doing tattoos in general. Um, and I am getting more comfortable. It's it's great. Um, I'm probably, like I said, I've been tattooing now for just a little over a month. I've been going to the school for going on my fifth month. So, you know, I've learned a lot. And I mean, I, I do have a little bit of experience before, so that's that's helped me quite a bit because I see that having just a little bit of experience I had helped me be able to progress a little faster than some of the students there. Um, having the art skills and my background in art has also helped. But other than that, I am going to be doing more videos for my channel now that I'm not part of Bod Mod 101. I didn't do a lot of videos for my channel because I focused on putting a video up for theirs once a week and I just don't want to do that anymore. I want to do my channel and I can promise you that I won't have any commercials on my channel unless somebody wants to pay me I don't know, let's say $20,000 per minute. So, you know, if somebody wants to pay me that much money, then you got twenty grand. i will give you a minute of my time on my channel. <laughs> but other than that, I'm not going to do silly ads for fitness treadmills or comedy channels that I don't even watch or technological devices that I could care less about. So I can give you that guarantee at Pirate Wizard Dragon. <laughs> that won't happen. 
and I'll be doing giveaways, and I won't have to worry about how, you know, the money's raised to do a giveaway. I'll just do a giveaway, and I'll give away stuff I like, and that'll just be the way it is. And if you don't like my channel, I really don't care if it grows or not, so that's just the way it is, too, because I didn't do this channel to um, get a bunch of views or, you know... I don't know. Some people have real lofty ideas of what's going to happen with their channel on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTube channels out there, and I don't think that mine's going to. I mean, one can always hope that Steven Spielberg will watch it and decide to put you in his next movie and not cast you as an alien. But, you know, you never know. But anyways, I just want to thank you all for uh, being with me on the ride with Bod Mod 101. And any subscribers I gained from that, I appreciate you. And I'm not, I'm not giving up on that channel either. I'm going to watch it here and there just certain people on that channel that I just I just don't understand why um why they're on the channel it doesn't seem like that they take a lot of the topics seriously a lot of times so being said that as it is uh I I have no ill will towards anybody on that channel and I'm I'm glad to have been part of it it was it was a fun experience and I learned a lot from it and the main thing I learned is that it's hard to get seven, eight, nine, ten people organized to do a regular upload <laughs> once a day on a channel. That's probably the main thing I took away from that. And, it, you know, in certain situations, I believe you need to have some sort of director. If not, then it's just going to be too democratic, which I know that sounds ironic, but you got to have a leader. You got to have somebody telling people what to do or nothing gets done. And that's what I think a big part of some channels on YouTube that are collaboration channels. That's what I believe is their problem. Um, other than that, that's just my oh, battery's dying. That's just my little, my little rant on why I left Bod Mod One Hundred and One, which I wanted to tell people why. And it's not because of anything they did. It's just some of the changes that they're making. I don't want to be associated with, especially the new commercials that they're deciding to do. I do. I I hate commercials. I think commercials are crap. The whole reason why I don't watch TV anymore and use a mute button on my radio when commercials come on is because I absolutely despise them. I think they are subconsciously programming people, and I don't like to wake up in the middle of the night singing a McDonald's friggin' song in my head while wishing I had a 7-Up because of some bloody commercial that I was programmed with the previous four weeks while watching my sitcoms on TV, which I don't watch sitcoms anyways. But you get to just what I'm saying. I just don't like commercials, and if that's going to be part of the new way, then I don't want to be part of it, and that's why I left Bot Mod 101, because... Don't like commercials. Big, 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 big opinion on that. Um, I won't have commercials on my channel, ever. Like I said, unless you got, like, some serious bank, you will not see channels on those commercials. And even then, they better be something cool. Like, funny, which it's never going to happen. Nobody's going to give me $20,000 for a minute on my channel. So, um, that being said, thank you all for this, uh, watching this. Uh, stay tuned, because I promise you, from here on out, I will be doing more videos on my channel. I am a busy man. I'm drawing every day two to three hours on average a day and doing tattoos and going to school, trying to work, trying to make money, trying to do things. And I got a lot of obligations and, um, but that isn't going to stop me from doing quality uploads for my subscribers. Also, I'm going to not always do videos on tattoos and piercings because that's not my entire life. I'm going to uh, talk about other things I'm into, including collecting things. I'm a big collector of action figures, miniatures and eighties toys and stuff like that. So I'm going to be doing uploads on that. And I'm also going to be doing just some comedy skits um, of things that I find funny, which I don't care if you find funny. So if you don't, then please comment on that as too. But thank you once again for watching. Uh, have a great day. I love you all and um, stay tuned.